if you have club level seats, so not club renaissance, yep. but the club level seating around the arena, which is usually in the 200s, um, depending on the, the arena, you might also want to get there a little bit early because then you can take advantage of the the perks. food mm -hmm. and the perks and the drinks that are that come with that um that seating assignment as well too. Otherwise, like if you got you know regular old seat, yeah, get there with enough time to get the the lines are going to be lengthy yeah, for the so. drinks. Um, so get to get there enough time with um to get a drink. And I would suggest pre gaming um finding <laughs> a if you're not going directly from your hotel, find a bar mm -hmm. or something that's near. Um, the stadium, so that way you can kind of get you some drinks in your system, maybe get a bite to eat yeah. before heading to the stadium. Um, because we all know those prices be high. <laughs> them, them, them stadium drinks, them prices be <laughs> high, and they they don't even be that good. Yeah, yeah. But, I definitely, I, I, I definitely went to dinner, had a few cocktails mm -hmm. before, and then met up um, with Jasmine at, at the stadium, and then got another drink. But to your point, that was okay. Yeah. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey. Welcome to another episode of Travel Fly Sexy. Sexy. I'm your co-host Natasha Wilson, owner of Travel Goddess International, and I'm your co-host Sincerely Jasmine, owner of Boss Babes Love Brunch. Period. And it's the birthday girl. It's my birthday, y'all. Thirty, dirty thirty is here for Period. your girl. Oh, look at her. She and all cute. <laughs> if y'all don't even know, the episode is given Beyonce Virgo season. Come Period. On. <laughs> yes. So if you did not read the title on the uh, YouTube or the, the Spotify or wherever you're listening, this episode is dedicated to mother herself. Queen B. Queen B. In effect, but more importantly, because we went to the concert, so we got to give you a whole full yes. take. <laughs> oh my God. But of course, before we jump into it, a little bit of goddess smell from our inbox to yours. Take us away, Jazz. Birthday girl. Yes. <laughs> now, this one. <laughs> this is intense. Was very intense. Yeah. Um, so when I saw this, I was like, we definitely got to bring this up. Um, so there was a pilot who actually passed away. Yeah. Um, while while flying a plane, um, Crazy. literally in the air, and the co pilot had to take over and divert them to land, mm -hmm. um, and for everything to kind of be resolved. So crazy, yeah. That's a, that's such a ton. My goodness. Okay, so when I was reading about this, um, they really was calling attention to the lack of um gizmos and gadgets for lack of a better phrase mm -hmm. that they had on board, on board to resuscitate him or mm -hmm. to sustain him in order to you know get him on the ground and then get medical attention yeah and that really it's kind concerning. of yeah like it paints the the picture of like you know we say what we want about some of our u.s carriers but there are a lot of u.s standards mm -hmm. that are implemented for our safety that do not, or that may not, I should say, be the case when you're traveling with international carriers. Yes. And that like defibrillator res resuscitation mm -hmm. thing, like- All of that first aid kit equipment, yeah. like that extensive medical um, equipment is usually on board with, like you said, those uh, US-based yeah. airlines. It's like you have to, like yeah. it's a part of the checks and balances mm -hmm. and it's not always the case with, other carriers because they just have different rules in different countries yeah. as we know yeah and we know that obviously the medical um situations are different country to country um so yeah i that was scary though. I, that was scary i was like wait when i saw it i'm like wait so then what right <laughs> but it looked like the plane landed yes they it, were able to it was obviously a co-pilot and he was able to safely land um sheesh. so no one else was um hurt but yeah, that that is a wild one. That is um, scary. I don't even know what I would have done. Like, do you as think a they passenger. let them know? I was curious. Like, do you think they let them know, or maybe they're just like, we have to do an emergency landing? I mean, you. I think you. Well, when I watched the video, they did come over to an um, announcements to say, mm -hmm. "Is there a medical professional on board?" Yes. I don't know if they said for our pilot, right? <laughs> but they did say, you know, they asked that question. And a few nurses and a few doctors were on board. Yeah. But when the nurses and the doctors, you know, did their recollection of the story, they said 
we didn't have what, we, what needed we needed yep to bring him back to life exactly or to sustain his life exactly until we were able him. to land exactly that's effed up yeah that's <laughs> crazy yeah that is insane but um i will say shout out to that co-pilot oh yes because dealing with the like anxiety in the moment That's what like I was you know thinking. like your adrenaline's rushing you're already responsible for all these lives like your job's already a, a nerve wreck <laughs> yes. i'm sure um and then then your, your lead pilot you know yeah yikes and i'm sure as the co-pilot like obviously you're prepared to step in but you also i'm sure most of them are just like <laughs> they sit back to most of the rides where it's like he got it it's like, Ooh, dang. You got it today, though. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. That's well, crazy. But moving on. I know. That but I, I mean, at the same time, I don't know. What would you guys do? Comment below. Let yeah, us let know us know what, what would, would you do. do if you were. I mean, I would prefer not to know until we land. That's fair. That is fair. Because yeah. that just creates a whole level of yeah. anxiety. And everybody, board. like, you know, everybody handles things differently. Mm-hmm. And they're, like, you know, like now people are passing out. Mm-hmm. I would just, For no reason, though. Yeah. Like, it had nothing to do with them, but they're just in their mind. Exactly. They immediately start Freaking to freak out. out exactly. Right. So I'd be like, let me know when, when we, we there and we in the airport. And they'd be like, oh, well, I heard. I'm like, oh dang, my for real. gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Why you choose that one for this episode? I I'm know. like, dang, that's sorry, y'all. On to a lighter note. <laughs> right, because it's Beyonce. <laughs> like... Beyonce. <laughs> Jasmine is totally dressed for the Yo. occasion. She is ready for Virgo season. I was saying it like, is here. She is happening. She looks so cute. I said Virgo season, Beyonce episode. Let's go all out. Period. I love this for you. So y'all. This concert, y'all. Oh my god. This tour. <laughs> this everything. <sighs> Beyonce is not normal. She's not human. I'm convinced. I'm just like, I get all the conspiracy theories. <laughs> I do. I see what y'all mean. And because I'm not how? saying I'm a part of a cult. <laughs> but I am saying that I do understand people on the outside <laughs> being like, this is weird. You know? I'm like, how do, why do y'all feel like Because look at this hat, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> like, only Beyonce. Can make you do Only this. Beyonce. Like, I was looking at my outfit for the concert, and I said, only Beyonce can make me wear chrome cowboy boots. Right. Because what? <laughs> <laughs> only and for then, her and then uh, now she's basically called upon all virgos yes to do the to most do the most for the next 30 days <laughs> of the virgo season she said we're wear as much silver and chrome as you possibly can so <laughs> shine bright so stay tuned for that yes <laughs> i'm oh sorry my they gosh. didn't have silver balloons they only had gold only beyonce can have us chromed out <laughs> blinged out bling alien superstars literally <laughs> everybody is an alien superstar today and apparently every day for the next 30 days yes but this concert this tour was so good uh, now y'all know if y'all went back to i think it was episode maybe six or seven you already know i went to the show once for the first, first show, night the yes. first first show in sweden and i was like i gotta see it again it was that good and the funny part is how we even got there. Right. <laughs> like, we don't be making this stuff up. We don't. And, like, I know y'all probably be like, they lying. They playing that. Yeah. No. <laughs> Literally, I'm sitting in my living room. I'm texting Jazz. And I was like, oh, by the way, like, I, if you were thinking about going to see the show, I found, like, $90 tickets or something like that. We were not even talking about Beyonce. Random. Like, sidebar. <laughs> and I was just like, hey, just in case. And you were like. Not the same show I booked last night. <laughs> My friend was like, you want to go see Beyonce in our favorite city? I'm like, yes. Like, question? Uh, what? And then literally, <laughs> it was either the same day or the next day. And Tasha, I'm like, wait, what? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, I wish I would have waited for this text because I would have <laughs> saved a little bit. <laughs> saved a couple dollars. But that was it. Like, I had planned to go by myself because I was like, asked my fiance. He was like, mm. and I was like, well, I'm going, I'm especially going. for 90 bucks. Um, and then found jazz and we had a time. <laughs> In true travel fly sexy fashion. In true, like, because it was going to happen regardless. We was in Atlanta go. to see Beyonce again. And well, now, again for her. Atlanta, in my opinion, y'all say what y'all want in the comments. They won the mute challenge, y'all. I know there's still some dates left, 
but they won. Yeah. St. Louis already lost, and they were after, <laughs> after. Atlanta. What yes, are y'all like, doing? Y'all not even trying <laughs> at this even point. Try. <laughs> and Atlanta killed all three nights. Mind you, three nights. One of the yes. only cities that she gave three nights to. Yeah. I just, okay. Um, we don't jump into it's like so much, straight yo. up it's like so good. how to do stuff. But what I will say is if you have not planned to see this concert, you need to plan today. Right Go now. and look and see what shows are available and what shows you can make happen because you can't miss this concert. And we also don't know when Beyonce coming back outside. Like, let's be honest. Honestly, it's giving it's giving final farewell. <laughs> it's giving my girl is done. She said, she's the most personal she's ever been. She's having a ball. She's smiling. Like it's like. She's like this messing up and fun. not caring. We yeah. have an wardrobe malfunction. She's like, oh crap. Like, whatever. <laughs> yes. Like, she's like she literally is... on stage. Like... And this is Beyonce. Like, we all know somebody's getting fi- fired, Beyonce. <laughs> somebody's getting <Like>. fired. <laughs> <laughs> she is just having a great time, which I think makes the show and the tour as mm-hmm. a whole so much enjoyable. Mm-hmm. And that's why I was like, I gotta go. Like, yeah. just seeing the clips, I'm like, yeah, I think this is it for the girl because she is killing me. <laughs> so I'm going to be a she, part of this. She retired. Yeah, oh, I don't know. She is such a good show, y'all. But oh don't God. regret it and miss it and not no, go, y'all. No, please. This is your sign to book the flight and get your butt to the Renaissance World Tour wherever you got to go. Period. Go. So let's get into some, like, strategies yes. for the Renaissance World Tour because it is still... A thing. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. And if your city has already passed and now you're thinking, crap, I still need to see this, you probably want to listen because, you know, Mm -hmm. you got to now finesse your way to somewhere else and make it happen. Um, So first things first, securing inexpensive tickets. Yes. Because let's be honest. They are. (laughs) (laughs) Them them tickets is tickets. Yes. They are high right now. (laughs) And of course, those are resale prices, y'all. So do not blame Beyonce for the fact that you had to spend $1,500 for that ticket. That's not what she charged you for it when they released. That's what they resell it for. So don't blame mother. And that's the biggest pointer when looking at the tickets. See the reseller versus Mm -hmm. the Ticketmaster or StubHub Mm -hmm. or wherever you're at. Um, direct ticket Mm -hmm. Um, and it'll be labeled in like yellow or gold um, that it is a a reseller ticket and you'll notice that those prices are crazy (laughs) right so um, you know back to the $90 ticket which again if you're not following me on TikTok follow her you're missing out (laughs) because I told the girls and the guys Mm. about the $90 ticket when I found it and people secured it Um, but I booked it through through American Airlines um, events by way of Ticketmaster, but mm-hmm. to Jasmine's point, I look for verified resale. Mm-hmm. So if you're on Ticketmaster, that's what it says, verified resale, because that means you won't get your ticket. You're not gonna have no problems when you get to that gate trying to scan tickets that ain't real, because mm-hmm. that's a thing. Um, the other thing with tickets that I noticed with this concert in particular, they were opening up seats that are mm-hmm. kind of behind the stage. Yep. Right, so it must have been a demand thing where they're like, all right, this is the last night, Mm -hmm. so let's just put these out here. But again, make sure you're reading because it said, like, obstructed view or no view. Oh, wow. It said it on the ticket, on Ticketmaster. So it lets you know... No come at your own crazy. <laughs> come at your own risk. You will be in the building, <laughs> but you will not be seeing. But this show. you You'll probably be won't see this show. <laughs> You'll hear it though. You'll hear it, <laughs> but you won't see it. So you know the tickets situation can be. Yeah, and a lot of the stadiums, like these, are some of the biggest stadiums in yeah. each city. So pay attention to the maps um, mm-hmm. because, like Taj mentioned, those obstructed views and those out of sights. Though the stadium will likely have most if not all seats on sale because it's Beyonce. <laughs> right. Then Atlanta was like, well, it's the last night. Let's just throw exactly, all these joints out here. <laughs> exactly. Now I know some stadiums did kind of like Atlanta did um, mm-hmm. kind of originally block off some of those ones that were out of view. Yeah. Um, but I noticed with a lot of the other stadiums, everything's like open range. They opening it up. Like yeah. they like Look. So pay attention to those ones that are like on the side mm-hmm. um, that may be, you know, you'll, you'll see the stage and from the clips, if you've been watching the clips, you'll see mm-hmm. how she performs. Um, so you don't want to kind of be like 
too off to the side to where right. you're not catching anything and can't even catch any screen. Right. Exactly. So. Yep. So that's 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 what that was giving. <laughs> yeah. So watch. Look at those charts of the stadiums, please. Yeah. Child, I was like, oh my gosh, some people aren't gonna see this show. That's crazy. They gonna hear it though. They can't even see the screen. <laughs> they in her presence. <laughs> they, they in the presence yeah, of some, greatness. Some people are like, I just want to be there, and I get I that. I just want to breathe the same <laughs> air as Beyonce today. Great. Um, anything else on tickets? I mean, um, it was a fairly easy process. Like I, I, I definitely think the tickets, sooner the better. The I sooner. mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think. We we, we probably had like a three week lead. Yeah, time. we were. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, and I Trying lucked it. up because <laughs> my seat was really good. Um, well, both of our seats yeah. were great seats um, for the prices for that they the were. Low. And for Yeah, exactly. Now, my price wasn't as low as Tosh because I forgot about using um, my credit card perks. Mm-hmm. So that was a um, flaw on my behalf. <laughs> um, but still caught a great price. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, we were like three weeks out. So we were kind of on a tighter time. So, you know, if you can do it in advance, um, the sooner the better. Right. Because the people was going to see Beyonce. Yes. And, and the, the, more, the more content that gets out of the tour, like the night of Atlanta, the day of I was looking at tickets for mm-hmm. other cities. And then after we left, I was looking at tickets for, and the prices were hundreds of dollars different mm-hmm. um, because they're like, wow, Atlanta night three. Like, mm-hmm. so it's like, as the tickets are selling out and she's making this, making her way city to city, yep. the demand is going to get higher on those, those resale tickets. So get them now. If you're thinking yeah. about it, if you're don't thinking think about no more. it, do it now. Exactly. Because tomorrow <laughs> she will have another tour, another uh, night and it's going to be a hundred dollars more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Period. So yeah. Now, I'm trying, obviously the tour was great, but I feel like my like favorite little nugget <laughs> was us having y'all to walk back. Oh yeah. <laughs> to our like hotel. only option. <laughs> like the only option. I was um, like, we really walk it. Yeah. We walk no it back Uber to the options. Hotel. And there were a few um <laughs> drivers that mind you, we're in Atlanta, downtown Atlanta. Um, so there were a few drivers that were like willing to uber mm-hmm. or like taxi people around but they were trying to go to like sandy Springs. <laughs> yeah um, like they were not like yeah like going they, around the corner mm-hmm. they were like not we're not for going us. to downtown atlanta we're going 60 minutes out like we're going <laughs> home yeah. um, so i mean i that obviously worked for some of those people who live in those areas right. but for us we stayed in downtown atlanta so it was like not far, mm-hmm. but again, we had to walk. <laughs> yeah, so that being said, you know, if you are going to visit Beyonce in another city, definitely consider where you choose your hotel selection. Yes. I know we all have favorite brands that we're loyal to, or we just want to have certain experiences that we desire and, you know, five star this and that, and that is okay. Mm-hmm. But what you need to understand is when it is time to leave that concert, that is when it is anybody's game yep. it, it gets way too crazy at that point um so to jasmine's you know which jasmine was just mentioning we ended up walking but it was okay because our hotel selection and we stayed at two different hotels but they were both in downtown atlanta yep. where also the stadium is located so our walk was maybe 10 12 minutes yeah um Quick and easy. In hills, but yeah. it wasn't the end of the world. Um, and it was easy. Rather than trying to navigate an Uber, go through surge pricing, oh, yes. figure out where they're located. There's hundreds of thousands of people, it felt like, at yes. least. Um, Sold out everywhere, obviously. <laughs> it was too much. So really keep in mind your hotel location. Mm-hmm. Again, back to looking at the map. See where the arena is located. Yep. Map it out based on where your hotel is located. Look it up in advance, like check a Uber price or exactly. just check a distance, distance from hotel to arena and then make your choice. Yeah. And consider your travel before, too, um, because obviously, depending on the city, shows tend to start between seven to eight. Um, we were about, I want to say, like six minutes from the stadium mm-hmm. and it ended up being a... 20 minute, 20 minute ride yeah <laughs> because and obviously the it's downtown atlanta we know how the traffic is but it's also beyonce mm-hmm. so the traffic is even worse so we were able to get like dropped off like a few blocks like maybe a block from the stadium mm-hmm. um and just walk down 
Um, but yeah, so consider that too, because you don't want to miss the start of the show because you thought you was five minutes <laughs> and you really 45 minutes because yeah, of traffic. Yeah. Now I will say, speaking of like the timing of the show, um, so most of the tickets I think that let, that are left say at 8 p.m. start time for the show. Yep. Y'all saying getting on SAJ 8 p.m., y'all. So yeah, I know that. <laughs> you can get to the stadium at 8 p.m. So we got to the stadium about at 8, eight yeah. um, which gave us enough time to locate our seats, um, stand in line for a drink, mm -hmm. frolic a little bit, and then literally we're hearing boom. Yeah, I had to run. I'm like, so got a blast. <laughs> <laughs> so she came out about like 8.55, 9 o'clock. Yes. And that was perfect. Mm -hmm. It was no need to be there for hours and hours yes, and hours. Yes, you don't need to get there. I mean. Unless you're Club Renaissance. I was just about to say that experience is different. If yes. you're Club Renaissance and you're on the floor, you do want to get there early to get your place yes. and, you know, handle all of that stuff. But if you do have a regular seat. Yes, a seat. Um, yeah. I think arriving at the designated time is best. Yeah. It just gives you, you know, better time to kind of navigate and then you're not just sitting around because obviously it's Beyonce. There's no opener. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> like, no opener for what? It's not one of those. Open it for what? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> when the show starts when she comes out. Yes. The other point, um, too, if you have club level seats, so not club renaissance, yep. but the club level seating around the arena, which is usually in the 200s, um, depending on the, the arena, you might also want to get there a little bit early because then you can take advantage of the the perks. food mm -hmm. and the perks and the drinks that are, that come with that um, that seating assignment as well too. Otherwise, like if you got you know regular seat, yeah, get there with enough time to get the the lines are going to be lengthy yeah, for the so. drinks. Um, so get to get there enough time with um, to get a drink. And I would suggest pre gaming um, finding <laughs> a if you're not going directly from your hotel, find a bar mm -hmm. or something that's near. Um, the stadium so that way you can kind of get you some drinks in your system maybe get a bite to eat yeah. before heading to the stadium um because we all know those prices be high <laughs> them, them, them stadium drinks them prices be high <laughs> and they they don't even be that good yeah yeah but, i definitely I, I, t I definitely went to dinner had a few cocktails mm -hmm. before and then met up um with jasmine at the stadium and then got another drink but to your <laughs> point mm, that was okay it yeah. was okay <laughs> but it was like, all right, you got to drink while you watch a Beyonce. Exactly. But that wasn't the main thing. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's not the start of the show. So come ready. <laughs> come, re come ready with a couple come already. Ready, yes. yeah. <laughs> I'm hollering. <laughs> all right. So now we got to talk about flights. Yes. Yes. Because again, most of y'all, if you're listening to this, Beyonce probably already left your city. Mm -hmm. So now Came you got to find somewhere else to go. <laughs> exactly. So. And you will probably need to fly there. <sighs> That's the hard part now because the demand is going up. I feel like we tried it, but go ahead. Yeah, we did. <laughs> and honestly, it's so because even like we said, we didn't plan this together. So we just so happened to have the same flights mm -hmm. and it worked out. So very similar minds, um, but we tried it. <laughs> That's us. Don't do that. Um, so we flew out the morning of late morning. I think. <laughs> tried it. I wanted to do early morning. My friend like, let's just do the 11 or something. I'm like, all right, we'll get yeah. to Atlanta around one, two. Um, so that's what we did. <laughs> we got to Atlanta around two. Our flight was delayed just a little. Yeah, like maybe um, 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, like 30 minutes, no more than like 30, 40 minutes. Um, and we got to Atlanta around 2 p.m. The process was interesting because everybody was going to Atlanta. Everybody was going there. I mean, well, obviously going to Atlanta. Everybody but was going to see show. Beyonce. Yes. Everyone was going to see Beyonce. Um, so as we're boarding, uh, Tosh got spirit goals, so she was already on the flight. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm in like group three <laughs> waiting and there's a guy out there like, who's going to see Beyonce? Who's going to see Beyonce? Like a public service announcement. And it's like all of us. <laughs> <laughs> like all of us. clearly it's like the last flight out of Philly mm -hmm. to Atlanta on this day. So he goes, if you're not going to see Beyonce, get off this plane now and give me your seat. <laughs> I really wish I was out there to see this. I'm like, what? <laughs> he was like, who's not going to see Beyonce then? Then he goes over to these ladies <laughs> Older middle aged white ladies. It's just he profiling them. They're going to assume they're not going to see Beyonce. Y'all going to see Beyonce? 
<laughs> oh, that's me to ask me. Mind you, I think they were like, we're on standby too. Like, because they were sitting down. They wasn't mm-hmm. even lying. So they're like, we waiting too. Right. Um, so he's with his friend. So I get on the plane. Me and my friend on the plane. Tasha's still on the plane. Cool. Mind you, we a little late. So I'm like, wrap this let's up. Let's wrap it up <laughs> and get there. Yes. Beyonce. Okay. <laughs> um, so he gets on the plane. And I'm like, oh. He it must have been a seat available. He left his friend, y'all. Ciao. He said, Well, one of us is gonna see Beyonce today. Goodbye. He did all of that. Like, mind you, we're assuming he didn't have a seat. How she ended up not having a seat? Like, he left his friend. He's like, there's still eight seats left. They won't let her on. I'm like, what would you do? What would y'all do? Because ain't no, they not, it's eight seats left. They not let her on. The cap. Is Cappington like that? Is not the case. It was eight and he was left, telling like, everybody like he he like he was trying he to make trying everyone to make feel, feel bad. Better. Yeah, he was trying to make everyone feel bad. Like, but it's like you what, left your friend. You left your friend for Beyonce. So what would you do <laughs> if you're if you were on standby? You and your That's friend so to go see Beyonce the same day the same on a new day. flight, <laughs> and there's only one seat on a flight what would you do are you leaving your friend in the airport to go see beyonce oh god are they still friends i'm gonna find him (laughs) are they still friends (laughs) because i just need the closure of the story like did she make it did she (laughs) she couldn't drive that's gonna take too long i i don't know prayers out to her because that show was amazing and i'm sorry that she missed it (laughs) yes So you prepare accordingly, especially if you're flying standby. Do not go to the Do airport not. for no 12 p.m. flight and you flying standby. Don't fly standby the day Buy of a, a concert. Ticket. Like, I could give you that a day before or two days before. Yeah, Fine. they tried it. We tried it, but they The really day tried of it. the show? Guys, I know everybody got buddy pass. You're trying to save your coins. It's the first... Uh, no, 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 no. Do not play around with mother like that. Mm-mm. You will miss mother like that girl. <laughs> so get your flight and yes. make sure you have it confirmed. Yes. Not stand by, y'all. Don't yeah. stand by for the Renaissance World Tour because you might miss it. Everybody's going there. Everybody's Everyone's going. going. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, I personally would suggest the day before. I know we're all kind of trying to budget it yeah. and make the ticket the highest mm-hmm. cost expense, of the, yeah. the highest expense. Um, but if you can find a reasonable hotel and do two nights yeah. and, and get that flight the day or night before just to kind of cut on your expenses, you eat at home, just go sleep there and then <laughs> get ready for the concert. Um I think that would make more sense because God forbid you are left in the airport on standby and miss the concert, miss the concert because the next flight is the next flight is probably like 9 p.m. Like you have a concert ticket, but hopefully they did. Hopefully they did the little trick where they were going to go and do the same day purchase. What's your thoughts on that? No. Now I've I've been seeing a lot about a few weeks ago. You would have had me at yes. Okay. You would have had me at hello in my <laughs> Beyonce voice. But after Atlanta, yeah, I don't recommend it. Yeah. Again, back to your earlier point. The more content that comes out for this tour, the, higher the more you. people are wanting to see it. Like Jasmine said, she was like, I wasn't really checking for it originally. And then she went. There's thousands of people like that, yeah. like with that mindset. So I was watching the Atlanta tickets the whole day on that um, that Monday, and I was going to try that hack. Like, all right, I booked this seat, and the seat ended up actually being really good. I was yeah. like, it, I know, same. I was I like, was I like, was going to try sure. a little hack, but I, I, so did. I was like, I'm gonna try to get a little club renaissance or a little 100 something something or whatever. Mm-hmm. Child, by seven o'clock, mm-hmm. not even six thirty, all the seats were gone. And when I saw you, the day started with a full gamut of every section and mm-hmm. every seat but those numbers were high <laughs> like people are buying it yeah they are paying what it costs mm-hmm. so if you think you're about to show up and try to do the i'm gonna wait an hour before and see what i can get i don't know that beyonce's renaissance world tour is the best case for that yeah i, I wouldn't suggest it and i mean it was a third night so you would think Oh well, Atlanta's mm-hmm. got their fix the first two nights, and it's like no, the more of the content, like the first night, 
Atlanta won the mute challenge. Mm-hmm. So now everybody's like, I need to go. Like, mm-hmm. everybody, you know, so it's just going to continue to snowball. So or, I, you know, friends are talking like, oh, you should have went to that mm-hmm. show last night. And or like, people like, I'm going back. Yeah. <laughs> while there she's was still definitely cer- several people that yeah. went multiple times yeah. in Atlanta mm-hmm. while she was there. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there's people who went all three nights. Yes. Um, Because the Beehive in Atlanta is, they, feel different. they are. Pff, that was a great city to go to. Yeah. Like, and it's so crazy because I was originally looking at Houston mm-hmm. and New Orleans because of like, you know, her ties to those cities. Mm-hmm. I was like, these cities going to go up. Like New Orleans is going to go up. Houston going to go up. Atlanta, I really think came for the crown. Yeah. I'm like the energy in Atlanta, this album mm-hmm. in Atlanta. Right. Exactly. It just made sense. That culture down there, their ballroom culture. It just made sense. Everything is, you know, yeah. and then they give her the, um, the, the designated day mm-hmm. that weekend and then BTL on yeah. everything. Like, it, yeah. Yeah. Atlanta, <laughs> y'all, y'all ate that up. Atlanta, y'all ate that down. Yeah, okay? for sure. That Joe has sauce upon yeah. sauce. Okay. Like, that's on like <laughs> three days of just like <laughs> crazy. It was so good. One thing I will tell you. This tour takes a lot of energy. <laughs> now, energy. Like, literally. Energy. <laughs> so much energy. Like, mind you, obviously, we flew in the morning of, mm-hmm. barely got rest, um, <laughs> right. got ready straight for the concert, pretty much. Um, but the energy of the show mm-hmm. is, like, such a good show. And it's not even, like, an extensively long show. Right. It's just enough. It's just, it's the perfect show, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Um, <laughs> obviously, I'm biased. Um, we but are I still think, high on the Renaissance. Yeah, like it's, I cloud. see why people go back. I see why, like, it is such an experience where mm-hmm. you're like, wow. So I, I say, have your liquid IVs, get some <laughs> breasts, because whew, baby, <laughs> the liquid IV, it's a lot. It's worth it, it it's worth but it. it is a lot. Yes. <laughs> now I will say, speaking of that though, like let's maybe talk about like the pre and the post like concert experience mm-hmm. because to your point of it's a lot. Like yes, the show takes a lot out of you because you're just like. What am I experiencing? Beyonce? But at the same time, you know, the we talk about the vacation Olympics, the Renaissance World Tour Olympics yes. is kind of a thing now too. Absolutely. Because people are like making costumes, making outfits, yes. buying costumes, buying outfits, sending returns back to Amazon <laughs> like it's nobody's business. Like it's a whole thing. It is, yeah. Just to get to the show. Yeah. Especially if you're seeing it in another city. Like you said earlier, that you got expenses because you need a hotel, hotel you need a flight, flight. Mm-hmm. you know, you got to eat. Like, it's a lot, but it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, I would say for me, again, it was super last minute. So the pre, the pre prepare wasn't as I would like it to have been. Like, I didn't plan <laughs> you didn't feel as prepared. As a, yeah. Um, but it all worked out. It Some did. last minute express orders mm-hmm. and pulling some looks together. It's also like, I love, what I love the most about the concert is everybody gets to come up with their own concept of, of what Renaissance. Renaissance is. Yeah. And I was like, what is my, like, perception? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm, like, listening to the album. Like, which song do I want to embody? Like, <laughs> do I want to go, like, because you can give pink. You could give, co- like, you know, yeah. like, do I want to give, like, color abstract? Do I want to stick with the chrome? Am I feeling the cowboy head? Mm-hmm. Like, I just was like, it's so many concepts. Yeah. So I think that's, like, the biggest pre-planning thing where it's like, <laughs> it's like what, what is vibe? your renaissance what is my vibe? renaissance vibe yes oh my goodness yeah because i honestly my outfit just came together by luck of the draw <laughs> i got very lucky we're gonna put a photo in um of so you guys can see our outfits yes. but um the accessories of the outfit was where i put my time and energy yes like what kind of fan do i want mm-hmm. what kind of shades do i want like that's where i felt i was giving my my most moment yes um but the outfit itself again luck of the draw just came together it wasn't even supposed to be the outfit for renaissance it was supposed to be the outfit for dinner on blanc but it came together yes the looks were looking the looks were looking let us know if y'all went 
what did y'all wear and how did you pick your concept? Was yeah. it a song? What was your inspiration of your renaissance That's look? a good point because I definitely had zero inspo. <laughs> <laughs> I just, what I knew was that I wanted to do something that was a little bit off brand, but okay. still on brand. Mm -hmm. So my on brand was going to be my accessories, but I didn't necessarily want my outfit to be chrome or silver mm -hmm. or anything like that. So I went with an all white concept. And I added the accessories. And I felt like a, I, I liked it. I liked it. And I <laughs> like, I think I personally thought that she was given church girl. Like I thought that's that was. What, okay. That's what I thought the yes. vibe was. Because I know take that's it. one of your favorite you know, songs on the album. No, that's my favorite song on the album. And when she so came I out and performed it. it. That. Yo, when she performed it and she had on my favorite outfit when she did it. I could have went home. I could have. I was done. done. I was done. <laughs> I was like, Beyonce, why do you love me like yeah, this? Yeah, she snapped <laughs> so bad. It was crazy. It was so good. It was so good. Oh, man. I wish you would have told me this back when I had the outfit on because I would have <laughs> ate the uh, the internet uh, like alive, just kept church girl in myself. Yeah. Like church girl. Every, every That's song. That's what it was given. Mm. That's perfect. <laughs> But yeah, let us know what y'all inspiration behind y'all looks was. Oh, period. And then the post, I mean, like we said, still on a Renaissance high. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you gonna be walking, but you're walking and you're talking about Beyonce, so it's not the end of the world. Definitely choose those hotel locations wisely. Yes. Um, but yeah, like even still, right now we're talking about it, and we're still just like, yeah, oh I posted yesterday, like I miss Beyonce. Yo. The, the Renaissance hangover is a real thing. It is. And again, I see why people are going again. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't experienced it, I suggest experiencing it because I see why people are experiencing it two, three <laughs> yes. times. Like, it's like, that they good. Gotta do it. <laughs> it's really that good of a concert. Like, it's so good. Oh, um, Beyonce. Yeah. <sighs> Mama. The recaps can do it no <laughs> justice, honestly. Like, I see all the, like, TikToks and all the, like, because obviously we're invested. It's a theme. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like we love the silver. We love all the gaudiness. Um, but it, you cannot really recap this experience. Like, you have to be there. You it was points where it. I was just like, put my phone down. Like, I, I have to be in I this moment. I have to be in this moment. And obviously, I want to record this, but like, this is so good that it don't oh, even matter. Jesus. The church girl moment. Yes. And also, guys, just so you know, we were at the Atlanta show where she brought out the big three mm -hmm. that she did not perform since the first night in Sweden. Yep. So Beyonce really do love your us, girls at Trump like, Fly Sexy because <laughs> she said, I got y'all. Yes. I got y'all. Okay. Here you go. Drunk in love. Dubai version. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Thick. And here you go all up in your mind. You're yes. welcome, TFS girls. We love it. <laughs> she she snapped. She really did. Like, people were texting me like, oh, my God, you got the big three. And I'm like, honestly, I haven't been paying attention to it that much. <laughs> so I didn't know what they were talking about. And I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. like, I, I didn't see the show. So I thought everybody got it. But nope. Tosh got it both times. So period. Period. <laughs> Lord knows we can sit here and talk about Beyonce all day because I just would love to but mm -hmm. we do have a show we yeah. still got to figure out other things to discuss so what's your favorite moment or thing about the renaissance experience um again i think my favorite thing would be the uniqueness of everyone's perception of what renaissance is and mm. seeing everybody's different looks from the iridescent to the chrome to the clear um, like plastic looks to the hot pinks and the yeah, furs I love the hot pinks. and the fans, like all of the fans just giving me life, the like fans. heated, because that's my favorite song. So. <laughs> mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Yes, period. <laughs> she snapped on that. She did, and she um, knew she, she did. She snapped on everything, though, guys. Like, you did. just got to see it. She the whole snapped thing. on everything, guys. Amazing. <laughs> what was your favorite? Um, My favorite favorite thing about the renaissance experience is how beyonce has a way and honestly music does but beyonce specifically has a way to just bring everybody together and have this cohesive like moment yeah in time kind of similar to what you were saying just about people's um perception of their their renaissance look in attire but like it's just a 
feel. It's a vibe. Like when she said it, you're a vibe, you're a hero, like it's her. She yeah. talked about herself because she's somehow made all of us be like, yes, like you're my friend mm -hmm. for this one night because we're all together here to celebrate the, like mother. Yes. And we're doing it in the same almost like uniform fashion with our own style and grace to it. But we all are here with fans, glasses, um, chrome and glitter. Yes. <laughs> for Beyonce. I love that. Yes. Like love she it. did that for us this spring and summer and it's just something special like it really is it's such a special experience yeah child so good yes beyonce you did that she and really you're still did. doing it because you got weeks left i might I'm see you like, again i'm tired <laughs> i'm so drained from this concert i it took me maybe days to recover <laughs> i said how is this lady doing back-to-back -back nights of this like whoo child robot she's a robot <laughs> and killing it uh, Oh, and yeah. the looks. Oh. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Please, y'all. Honestly, it's the Renaissance, Renaissance World Tour fashion show. Yeah, she snapped. <laughs> she is eating those looks up. Oh, my other favorite thing, Blue Ivy. Oh, Blue She's Blue. She's so cute. Look at our knees. <laughs> Look at I was our like, knees. <laughs> oh, my God. I, she was eating that. Bit. Don't y'all ever say Blue Ivy can't dance. She ate y'all up <laughs> on power. <laughs> And that's my song. What? I was screaming like Blue was the celebrity. Like, are, I mean, she is. Y'all are hating on Blue. Like, y'all been hating on Blue since she was born. Still eating y'all up. <laughs> Still eating y'all up. <laughs> Hate that for y'all. Period. But yeah. <laughs> Oh, so good. Uh, so good. This, so good. This episode is your sign to, to please, please see the Renaissance Go World Tour if you haven't already. And if you have, comment below. Let us know what city you saw it in. And if our feedback is on point. Are yeah. you still on your renaissance hangover? Because we are. <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> All right. Because we'll talk about Beyonce for I the rest know. of our lives. I'm sad that we got to stop. I'm okay. sad. <laughs> I'm really sad. But I know we have an episode to continue. Yes. <laughs> uh, so if you do want to go see Beyonce mm -hmm. in another city in the remaining tour dates, then of course you already know that Jasmine and I are for girls to make it happen because mm -hmm. we are both a part of Travel Goddess International, which is a full service travel agency that can assist with bringing your next unforgettable vacation experience to life. So whether that be to see the Renaissance World Tour or just to see the world, mm -hmm. <laughs> we got we you. Got you. <laughs> yes. So whether you are looking to book one of those great travel deals or a custom uh, consultation, we got you. We want to get to RWT. We your girls. <laughs> Hashtag RWT. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, let's jump into the traveling travel agent, aka our travel deal of the week. All right. My opinion, again, a good one, but we're going to say. Oh, yeah, this is a great one. Okay. I say this every week, y'all, but we really be killing the travel deal. So <laughs> it's like, I'm not lying. Sleep if you want to. <laughs> y'all going to be sleep yeah, at home. We're going to be sleep abroad. All right. So this one is six days and five nights <laughs> period in panama panama all right late october it's a wednesday to monday so again y'all know how we say save your days mm -hmm. use your pto but you don't gotta use you all of it with round trip flights via delta airlines by way of bwi baltimore maryland if you're in the building stand up <laughs> um layovers that are under three hours both ways easy peasy Four-star accommodations at the Westin Playa Bonita, which is, I want to say, maybe 20 minutes or so, 30 minutes from Panama City mm -hmm. up at Air airport. All of that, y'all. Eight fifty-five a person. Can't beat it. Six days in Panama? Six days is crazy. <laughs> like, like that's... It's not even like a four or five. It's yeah. six days in Panama. Yeah. Five nights is at the Westin. Yes, and this property is beautiful. It's yeah. overlooking the water. The rooms are huge and spacious. It's a resort. It's so nice. Eight fifty five per person with your flights via Delta Airlines. Yeah, we love a good Delta flight. Okay, y'all already know y'all about to get the 
good service with mm-hmm. Delta. Y'all you know got the how they snacks. do. Y'all know <laughs> about the good snacks. So, of course, if you'd like to book that deal or any of our travel deals, we'll drop the link below so that you can browse our offerings and get your butt to Panama. Because what y'all doing? Ain't you going to Panama? I'm going to Panama. I was just about to say, I will be in Panama soon um, in the Playa Bonita area. So yes. I'll let y'all know how it is, but just book the travel deal. I was going to say, we'll so we go. all know we're not yeah, sending we... y'all places we're not going. Yeah. Like, come on, y'all. Stop acting crazy. And this deal, better than mine. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> Way better. <laughs> See how that be working? <laughs> um, nevertheless, there are brunch spots in Panama City, which I can't wait to try. Okay. <laughs> and of course, again, that resort is 30 minutes or so from Panama City. So with that being said, it's time to get brunchy. I know we love some brunch abroad. Yes. Um, so this week is actually a brunch I just recently indulged in. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't even know they had brunch. I didn't know they had brunch until I saw your Everybody video was either. in my story like, wait a minute. I yes. said, girl, I know. You're, you should say you're welcome. Yes. So this is really a gem. I wasn't even going to say it because, again, I just found out. So I wanted to visit a couple times. But Before here y'all, y'all go. Take it over. Um, I believe it's pronounced May May. I think it's um, here in Philly. I've been saying my my, but y'all know I pronounce everything wrong. So <laughs> May May here in Philly um, in the old city um, area. I believe it's like right off of Second and Market. Yeah. Um, if you're familiar with the restaurant, very cute, pink ambiance, uh, very dim aesthetic, really the aesthetic cute. Aesthetic is so cute. It's so there. cute. Yeah. They so have cute. like these pink flowers falling from the ceiling. Um, they have like a flower mural, um, very, very cute ambiance. Very um, friendly. I have been for happy hour and for dinner before, mm-hmm. and I just always assumed that that was their vibe. It's, um, an Asian fusion restaurant. Um, so for dinner, they have like Asian fusion dishes. I said, oh, wait, they got brunch. They got bottomless brunch. Snapped. We don't do that here in Philly. <laughs> we don't, y'all. If you're from very Philly, few places. you know they do not be trying to get us drunk. I don't know why. Maybe <laughs> we it's us. Up. <laughs> Maybe we be walling. Because you go anywhere else, you can go anywhere and get unlimited drinks. Why can't we drink a lot? I don't get it. But you can get as many drinks as you want they got one hour two hour um bottomless mimosas they bring out bottles of prosecco which were actually really good bottles of prosecco i read them mm-hmm. um about 12 percent. i was like okay we're not not cheaping us on the alcohol <laughs> um and then they give you a few carafts of juice cranberry pineapple orange and they keep it flowing um that's so dope and the food was great yeah, I bet because yeah. their food the during food happy great. hour and at dinner is so good. Yeah, and it was a nice like um brunch fusion menu. Like I will say it still had some like Asian inspired dishes, mm-hmm. but it had those brunch classics with their own spin to it. This um is awesome. Yeah. It was good. I I can't wait to go. Yeah, we going. I'm I'm like, I gotta go at least three more times before y'all run it down. <laughs> uh, before y'all run it down, we while she telling y'all about it. So the but rundown is on the horizon. I already know. <laughs> once it's on TikTok, it's over. I'll be like, once I once you put, put it up, there, the recap is done. <laughs> it's over. Yeah, that's very true. But we don't get keep round and true at all. Because it was so. great. So check it out. <sighs> that's a good one. Especially because our city just be having like, yeah, and it's like the brunch is so subpar here. Why? Yeah, or it just you know ain't no bottomless. Or you can get some great food, no drinks. Yeah, like we're the best food. They don't even serve drinks. I'm like, what is the gatekeeper on the alcohol here? They hate us getting drunk, but Philly people do be wilding, so could just be that. Oh, I love this city. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, question of the day, Jazz. Yes. All right. Mm. So would you rather Mm. a daytime flight or an overnight flight? And maybe why? Hmm. I want to say overnight because I feel like it makes sense. Like you'll go to sleep, (laughs) but I don't sleep well on planes. Mm. So the most I'll get is like an hour max. Like if it's like a four hour flight, I'll probably sleep for like an hour max. Oh, that's terrible. Um, I can never sleep. Like I'll I'll watch like two movies, four or five episodes or something, listen to three podcasts. Like I cannot sleep on that a plane. That's horrible. So daytime, I'm just and preferably a quick flight. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I'll be rocked on the plane. <laughs> like I don't even bring my pillow. Child, <laughs> I feel like I'm not going to be- sleep knocked out on a plane i'm definitely choosing overnight flight because i sleep like it is 
bedtime. For real. I be gone. <laughs> I cannot sleep. And you know what? The overnight flights, most of the time when I'm taking them, I am going to Europe or just mm -hmm. somewhere you know, out, out, out yonder. Um, so... What I'll do is, if I know I got that evening flight that's going to be an overnight flight, I'll just cram my day. Like, it's a regular Burn day. Yourself out, yeah. I got, I get up, go to gym, get my work done. Like, it's a regular day. Yeah. And by the time I get on that plane, you I don't even make it off the gate. Yeah. I'm rocked. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I, I actually did sleep well on a, a day like that where I'm like, I worked all day. Yeah. And then I had to, I was flying out of BWIs. So I had to mm -hmm. catch the train. By the time I got there, eight, had a drink. Oh, yeah, I was, for Paris. Mm -hmm. you took so that's, flight. I'm like, I was done for that one. Yeah. So I was like, I'm taking the overnight flight and yeah. sleeping for sure. Yeah. So that's my choice. <laughs> Y'all let us know, are you going to do a daytime or an overnight flight? What's your preference? Yeah. But I mean, the days are cool for quick flights. Yeah. Quick and easy. Yeah. But when you're going long haul, I'm going to be, <laughs> I might take a melatonin and I'm out. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Maybe I need to travel with melatonin. Maybe. I be up. Like, I don't know why. Gummies now. I'd have them, but <laughs> my brain just be up, y'all. Like, thinking all this stuff. You really do. Like, I'll, I'll look back on Jess. Like, Jess be doing. I be writing stuff. Like, I, I'm like, what is she My doing? notes are filled with plain thoughts. Like, <laughs> Hashtag plain thoughts. Yeah. I'll start releasing those. <laughs> Please do. Like, do, a, do like, like a voiceover. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that'll be a thing. We are ridiculous. <laughs> well, that is our episode <laughs> today. Yes. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Dedicated to Beyonce, Virgo season, Period. Jasmine's birthday, and everything in between. <laughs> Period. Thank you guys for watching, for hanging out, for keeping it. Like, what is this? Episode 18? Yes. Sticking by us. Yeah. Period. It's the loyalty. <laughs> it's the loyalty. Um, be sure to follow us. Um, Travel Fly Sexy on Instagram, TikTok, subscribe on YouTube. Um, what else we got? Oh, and of course, if you'd like to provide any feedback or suggestions on things that you would like to hear about or listen or see, depending on where you're watching, um, please send us an email at info at travelflysexy.com so that we can incorporate your suggestions into our episodes. Absolutely. And leave us reviews. We love them. Please. Um, they give us insight and they keep us going. Um, so be sure to leave us reviews on whichever platform you are listening or watching on. Lovely. And last but not least, we didn't have a product feature today, but if you have a product that you'd like to see featured on an episode of Travel Fly Sexy, please reach out to us via email as well. Info at travelflysexy.com. We'll drop it in the show notes so that we can tell the people about what you got going on. Period. <sighs> Until next time. See y'all. Bye. Thank you, Beyonce. Beyonce, girl. Beyonce. What Monique say? Beyonce. <laughs> Period. <laughs>